Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here. Heather, we're in we're going progression. Still working on yep. what we're working on. Yep. I'm trying to make powers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right. You know, I think. That's true. <laughs> Let's do this. Did you get any donations? I did not. Did I let you? They weren't listening. Uh, oh, nope, that's too long. That's too long. Alright. We'll come up here. Ooh. Bust out this wall. Nope. What about here? Nope. <laughs> You're fine. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna call. <laughs> no, Van's uh next dentist appointments tomorrow. So we'll set up a, just a Same little... Same thing as last, as last week. A little power plant in here, like on one side. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab this guy. And we're going to put him here. Like that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gentle Wolf, how are you? Alright, and we'll do this and this. Uh, and we'll put some guys up here. She's generating free power. That is so cool. Oh, upset about having to move? That. All right, and we'll put this guy here, right? And then we just throw <laughs> lava in there. I bet, man. <laughs> that guy's going be good. You have over over two and a half months. I'm I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> A lot can happen in that amount of time. That's usually, you don't want to look for an apartment any earlier than that. Yeah. Because even if you found something six they months probably ago, wouldn't. it would be gone. Yeah. That's fun to find a new place. Oh. Okay. Um. All right, we'll put this back in there. I need gunpowder. All right, so I got a little, little power plant. Okay. Up in the, the attic secret room, and right okay. over by where your uh, windmill is. Which, by the way, I might take down. Okay. Because now we have the power block coming out, uh, like a um, energy cell. Oh, okay. And then that way we can uh, run power to all this stuff. And then maybe, just maybe, I might be able to uh, make a building. I like that if you take the, the thing down, the windmill still there, just spinning in the middle of the air. Yeah, that's how they work, right? Yep, just floating in midair. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we got... It's not as free as the stuff you had. Okay. But there are some... Uh, but there is some free power up there because there's uh, solar panels. Oh, okay. 
So even if the other stuff runs out, these solar panels. So basically we have power from coal, we have power from lava, and then we have power from the sun. Nice. And this is um, 100,000 uh, FE energy cell is mm -hmm. already full. Oh, so wow. that can okay. hold 100,000. Each of the solar panels can hold eight. Uh, the magnumator holds 10. And so does the firmator. These are the basic ones. So the, this mod kind of has a... Uh, it starts, it goes, no, they're not even basic, they're starter. So there's starter, and then there's basic and advanced, and it kind of goes all the way up, and then each one is more efficient. Okay. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's make some more of these, if we can. We actually have none of the stuff we need for this. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Nope. Let's take that out now. Do I have any more of those? Or use what are they called? Capacitors. Okay. Let's go grab some more trees. So, I have this come out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's that. And we can walk through these, which is great. <laughs> Take this, pick up this, take that. Let's put in some more of these. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't reach it. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. How's Batani going on? It's going. About to start making runes. Well, don't ruin the ending for us. Hey, you know what stinks? Broccoli. It does not. It does. <laughs> you know what makes the whole house stink? Heather cooking broccoli all day. It's making homemade chicken noodle soup. It smells like old lady farts. <laughs> so Heather's making a homemade... Uh, chicken noodle soup today mm -hmm. and she put broccoli in it and she threw mm -hmm. it in a crock pot so it has just been wafting old lady farts it has so not yeah no yep. just the stank of elderly toots <laughs> gross I was in a cover band called elderly toots I'm sure you were <laughs> what did you cover? huh? Uh, just the, the, the local news for the day. <laughs> you know, sports, uh, the headlines, uh, weather. I bet you guys were great at parties. <laughs> A couple puff pieces, you know, uh, chipmunk, you know, water skis, or, you know, old person lives to be 100 if it's a woman. I really, I guess it could be an old man or an old woman. Old farts. Old men farts seem more leathery. What? Yeah, they smell like sawdust. No, yours do not smell like sawdust. Oh, so you're saying I'm an old man. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, all nice. right, all right, I see. All right. Nice the farts smell the awful. truth comes out, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. All right, and it has begun. What's a begun? <laughs> Your sassafras. You say I'm sassy all the time. Yeah, but you went you, went, you went sassafras. That's level two sass. That's where your 
That's where your frass gets involved. From a what? <laughs> your frass. Alright. So let's go ahead and grab nothing but coins, because that's all this stupid mod pack gives us as rewards. You know, not stuff that is quite as useful, but, you know, coins. Uh, let's also go see this real quick. I've never used one of these. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so can I stick this in here? I can. Look at that. We'll let this guy just uh, throw this up. Now, can I go and put it in here? Oh, I can. That's to put in. This is to take out. Okay. All right. Now we're 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 depleting uh, our our excess power, but then we're gonna I'm gonna have a little battery. I still don't know what energy hopper is. Let's just go set this down in here. Oh, okay. I need more. I have no idea what this does. Use this. Well, yes, I know I can use it to make the... Oh, you're the person. <laughs> you can use it to make the next one. Well, I know, but I want to know what this one does. So, Heather and I are kicking around an idea. And before anybody asks, no, this isn't just me being mean to Van. I mean, I'm not sad by it, but I'm just saying it's not the exclusive reason. I've been thinking about maybe, possibly, trying to figure out a better time for the stream. We don't know what it is. Ever since we went on vacation, yeah, getting people to come to the streams during the day, and we even moved them back because we thought, okay, well, you know, middle of the afternoon, on you know, morning early mid-afternoon is bad because you know a lot of people are in school or they go to work or they whatever else so we move them back to the current times they are now figuring okay well my stream the first stream of us starts at two but that's five back east right yeah and so you know even even though here it's two three and four back you know when they start back east would be five six and seven but yeah it, it seems that between the trip and moving around. Now, Van likes it because he gets off work and he can be here, and I'm just giving him crap. We like when Van's here. But, yeah, it seems like a lot less people are coming. And we don't know Not why. just that, but we now have a middle schooler who's playing football. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to get. And his, his stuff is right after school, which is at 3, which so, is when I stream. <laughs> yeah, so that's the other side of it. The actual in our world side of it is... Streaming during the day when they're at school is actually better for us. And I don't know if that's going to be better for... I mean, from the YouTube side, no one's you're not even going to notice yeah. what time it is. Um, but yeah, so uh, the youngest uh, has actually started playing uh, football. Flag football is what they have in junior high here. And literally just started this week. He got on, they have an A team and a B team, which is kind of the equivalent of like varsity and JV. And he made the A team. Um, and he loves it when a plan comes together, all that stuff. <laughs> and, but because it's junior high flag football games, they have them right after school. So like 3.30. Yeah. So that's the other reason, and they're not messing around. Like they just started mm -mm. practice like this week, yeah. And they have a game what next week or the week after? Uh, let me look. I can look real quick. It's, they it's have soon. a game. Let's see. Today's the third. They have a game on the seventeenth. Okay, so it's a couple weeks. Oh, that's right. It's a yep. day after. Yeah, uh, you know. And, oh, I'm sorry. So. For anybody who doesn't know what that grunt means. I me, keep putting it out of my head and then me, I get reminded. Let me fill you in. So so I'm going to go back a little a little further and, and, and let me explain. For anybody who doesn't know, maybe somebody's new, maybe somebody got concussed, you have amnesia. I was, <laughs> amnesia and quicksand were the two things I was the most scared of about growing up when I, when I was a kid. So. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, 
Heather and I have five kids, but it's a blended family. I had, mm-hmm. you know, two. the two oldest kids are my daughters, and then the three, and I use the word youngest lightly, the three of the younger kids, the three younger kids are her sons. So her sons are currently 14, 17, and 19, and then my daughters are 22 and 24. Yep. So my oldest daughter hasn't moved out yet. Well, she did. She did she for did. a while. She, she, she uh, went and took care of her maternal grandparents until her grandmother passed away, and then she moved back in. And then, uh, and then my younger daughter, she had moved out for a year, then moved back in, and now has been moved out for whew, almost two years now. Yeah. Now, Heather was here for all of that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, so she was here for all that. But once again, not the kid she raised, right? Yeah. So, I mean, to me, it was sad, but it wasn't like, you know... It, it wasn't so, it was somebody. She, these, these, they these, hadn't she, been in my life for honestly that long because when Trin moved out the first time, we'd only been living here a couple of months. Yeah, so, so she hadn't been living with them, you know. Anyways, well, here's the thing the true middle child of the five <laughs> is actually not Isaiah, it is Randy no, Wade. No, it is. And Randy Wade. In 15 days from today, moves into the dorms at no, the university. No, no, 13, 13 days. Oh yeah, 13 days, 13 days. One day I, I went the wrong way on two weeks. You did, yeah. So for 14 and 15, I went the other. Yep. Um. So yeah, in uh, right now we're recording this on August 3rd. He moves out August 16th. He moves into his dorms now. Like my daughters, it's, it's, you know, our daughters, it's, it's been in the same town. Nobody, none of them have moved like to another another city or, or even more out of state. They've all been, you know, relatively, I mean, they're all in in very quick driving distance. They're just in the town. Um, I mean, Tucson's, you know, over half a million people. It's not a small town. It's, it's a city, but you know, nowhere been. Everywhere in this town takes 30 minutes. Doesn't matter. If you're going if you're going five minutes away, thirty minutes. You got an hour. <laughs> Pretty, Pretty much, minutes. yeah. <laughs> um anyway, so uh so even though University of Arizona is in town, it's maybe well, I'll be honest, it's about thirty minutes away. It is. I was just about to say it's about thirty thirty minutes, yeah. Yeah, about thirty minutes away. Um This will be the first time one of her kids is is, is leaving the nest. So I think she's Const- I'm, and I'm just guessing here. Constantly had a, oh well, it's six months away. Oh, we still got no, five I months. No, I have a, I have a. Oh, he's only gonna be thirty minutes away. Yeah. But I think it might be starting to sink in now that he's not gonna be at family dinners every Wednesday and Sunday or things like that. So I'm, I'm thinking Heather's feeling. And and you know what? So am I. Because he's been. I mean. You know, yeah, he's 19, but he's been living with me for, what, the last four and a half, almost five yeah. years? So, anyway, so, yeah, that that's going to be a pretty emotional day. And, uh, luckily, he moves in a week before classes start, so I get a feeling it's not going to be like, you know, you know, when uh, parents, like, take their kid to, like, an out-of-state college, and, you know, they drive them up there, and they get them all situated, and then they leave, and they leave. They, like, go home. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, if we see him, I'm not going to say daily for that first week, but pretty close. Um, I know that there's a parent thing on Friday. The Friday after he moves in? Yeah, that yeah. Friday, because they do, U of A's awesome, as in, like, they get the family involved with everything. Mm-hmm. And so move in, they actually are like, drop your kid off, arrange the room, and then just leave. They actually say that. But then they have, you know, and you can go back if your kid needs something. You could, you know, take them to the store and buy whatever they forgot. And and honestly, that's what I'm thinking when I'm saying that we're probably going to go there numerous times. Is, you know, you 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 try and think of everything. (laughs) Yeah. But then he's going to get there and be like, all right, I got my shower caddy. I got my shower shoes. I got that. I don't, yeah. a, I don't have a pillow. I, have a, I don't have a towel. Yeah, so, yeah something. I, and that's the thing. I keep like reminding him of things he's got to get. Because he's been getting things on his own, you know, mm-hmm. throughout. 
And he keeps waiting. Oh god, he keeps waiting for like the best deal. Yeah. Uh, so like he hasn't gotten a towel or shower shoes yet because he he hasn't found ones online that are cheap enough. We're before. just gonna take. We're gonna <laughs> take him to Target. But that's what I'm thinking. There's gonna be things he's gonna forget, and we're gonna instead of having to order and wait a couple of days or even you know the next day, we'll just you know we'll just drive down there and, and pick because he's not gonna have a car, and we'll take yeah. him to Target or Walmart or wherever he needs to go to get stuff. So. So, anyways, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on now. The one, the the the, the good news to that whole thing is, if you can, yeah, you know, as a little bit of a silver lining is, he's the one kid with a job without a car. Uh -huh. Um, and so yeah, we won't have to drop him off or pick him up at school or anywhere or at work. I mean, anymore, so. <laughs> so that'd be kind of nice. But uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, no, I know. Van apparently Van when he was in college worked at the front desk of a dorm. And he oh. He says they'll either take too much stuff or not enough. There yep. will be no <laughs> just right amount of stuff the first year. Yep. Yeah. Uh he hasn't gone crazy, you know. No. Like like he's insanely cheap. Yeah. Sorry, frugal. Nice. No, he's cheap. He yeah. says he's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> he just started dipping his toes into the world of DoorDash. He did. Um, because once again, he doesn't have a car, but he also is 19 and doesn't want to cook his, you know, every single meal. So he started using DoorDash just to try it out. But pretty much he just gets Subway because Subway's delivery fee is super cheap. Not, yeah. <laughs> not just like not, not not Subway's food prices, just the delivery fee fee is cheap. <laughs> so he will get that instead of McDonald's because and, and I swear I go, I go, what's the delivery fee for Subway? He goes, like a dollar? I'm like, what's the delivery fee for like McDonald's? Which by the way, where we live, they're in the same shopping center. And they they're, are. they're like two minutes away. And he's like, uh, four dollars? And he made it sound like he you know, was so disgusted. Like, it, like if the difference is a dollar and a hundred dollars. Yeah, they can't have hot plates. No, they, they no can't hot have plates. anything with an open coil. So they can't have air fryers. They can't have hot plates. It's actually easier to list what they can have. Yeah. They can have a mini fridge. They can have a microwave. They can have a rice cooker. They can have a crock pot. That's it. Yeah, because none of those things have like. You know, a heating, you know, a, a, a heating coil, yep. which they're convinced is just going to burn everything down. So, the air fryer, I'm surprised by, but it has a heating Me coil. Me too. Well, and it then the does. air blows by it. But yeah, whatever. So, all right. Well, it's time to wrap up. So yeah, be uh, be prepared on the streaming side if you see uh, um, some movement in these streams or or some. We got to do something different because. Doesn't seem like uh, many people are showing up, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna shoot straight with you. Not many people show up, therefore not many people donate. Therefore Heather and I can't pay our bills. It's it's that straightforward. So we we've been uh, bouncing around the idea of quitting the YouTube streaming thing and just going and getting probably two jobs a piece to be able to pay for everything. We don't want to do that, but. Got to feed the family, right? So, anyways, it's a real kind of weird downer way to end, the, end the, the the whole thing. But, hey, keep in mind, being a Patreon definitely helps. And it does. If you're, on, if you're on the YouTube side and, and have a chance to come to any of our streams and you want to help out, so, uh, um, you know, come hang out in the streams. So, uh, anyways, so I'd like to thank everybody on the Twitch side for coming and hanging out. Uh, and on the YouTube side, uh, check out our Patreon. Still pretty early in the month of August, so it's a good time to come join us. Um, and uh, check out Host Havoc for all your server needs. Uh, Heather? I want to thank all of my resubs today. You guys are awesome, and everybody who hung out. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Anyways, guys, until next time, we want to thank you all so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.